Welcome back. It's time to look ahead at a beautiful, gorgeous next 10 days. But unfortunately, we had to suffer through some mugginess, some yeah. grossness today. And it looks like that again tomorrow. Yeah, we've got a couple more days to go. We'll start to get some relief by Tuesday. But the next couple days, we're going to be into the upper 80s. I like that smile because you're excited for the nicer weather. Coming oh, some relief. baseball. Sick of playing season. baseball in that Finally. muggy weather. You played today, didn't you? Today was yeah. rough. It was hot. It was gross. Lots just of sweat sweaty. the whole game. Couldn't oh, get no relief. Nats <laughs> were out there. Yeah, I, yeah. Even at, as we go towards 1030, it is still 83 degrees out here in Mankato. Still feels like 92 degrees. Definitely a warm to hot night. Winds out of the south at 7 miles per hour. Really been out of the, they've been out of the direction of the south all day, bringing up that warmth and moisture. Dew point still at 77 degrees here in Mankato. As we take a look at temperatures throughout the area, again, 83 degrees here in Mankato as well. St. Peter and Fairmont still in the low 80s as you go farther west. A little bit cooler as you go to the east. 77 degrees into Waseca, Albert Lee and 75 degrees into Owatonna. Again, there were some showers and storms to the east this afternoon that cooled things down just slightly. But those dew points again are remaining very high. 77 degree dew points into Mankato, St. Peter, even an 81 degree dew point as you go into St. James. But overall, dew points well into the mid to upper 70s and even to the low 80s. So it's going to be a very muggy night. We're going to want to have that air conditioner on and you're going to need that air conditioner as you go over the next couple days as well. Combining that heat and humidity, we have temperatures still feeling like 92 degrees into Mankato, St. Peter, as well as 92 degrees it still feels like into Fairmont and 91 degrees it still feels like in Esterville. So it's going to feel like much of the like the 80s as we go overnight tonight, not much nighttime relief. But if you are looking for relief, we're going to start to get that as we go towards Tuesday. We've got to get through Sunday and Monday with temperatures still warm and muggy into the upper 80s. But we're going to cool down midweek, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday into the upper 70s. A lot more dry and comfortable as winds switch direction out of the northwest. We still do have a slight risk for much of the area, two out of five for some strong to severe storms overnight tonight, but most of that should stay to the north and to the east towards the Wisconsin border as we have a strong cap in place in our area. That's going to really prevent storms from developing much as you go farther into southern Minnesota and into northern Iowa. Right now, nothing to see in the area, but we are starting to see those storms develop as you go farther north into Minnesota and towards St. Cloud. Start, those will start to become more widespread and move to the southeast overnight, but again, most of those should stay out of the area. That being said, we still can't rule out an isolated strong to severe storm as we go past midnight tonight. We did have some severe storms into Rice and Steel County earlier, including a tornado report into southern Rice County. A good thing that it was, was that was a brief report and it did not last long. So that was a good thing with that storm earlier this afternoon. So go overnight tonight towards midnight, those storms become more widespread. But again, they should stay to the northeast towards the Minnesota Wisconsin border. Again, we can't rule out an isolated strong to severe storm over the night as we go through the overnight hours. But again, we could still see some showers and storms tomorrow morning, but we'll clear out, have a mostly sunny Sunday and another round of showers and storms possible tomorrow tomorrow night after midnight. Again, some of these could be on the strong side again with all the heat and humidity we have in the area. We have a marginal risk one out of five for some strong to severe storms tomorrow, but again, those will be very isolated in nature. Tonight, some isolated strong storms, very muggy night temperatures into the low 70s. Tomorrow's going to be warm again, close to 90 degrees, mostly sunny. Again, we could see some isolated storms, especially into the morning. Next couple days, we stay hot into the upper 80s before we start to cool down. By the time we get to Tuesday, highs into the upper 70s, below average, and we'll stay below average as well on Wednesday and Thursday into the upper 70s. A lot more dry and comfortable and remain about average as we go into next weekend, but a lot of sunshine sunshine Woo! forecasted over the next seven to ten days not much rain as we get through mon or sunday and monday so that's the good news well hopefully uh, we don't get too much rain hopefully no. we get some cool breezes because those bugs are going to be bad oh, this yeah. summer after all the rain we don't need that we do need some cool breezes we should get a break from the mosquitoes too tuesday wednesday and thursday as the temperatures drop into the 50s so it's gonna be a lot nicer out there i like that that's good news we got sports after the break right here on kyc news now at 10.